It's the first full day of reopening even more parts of the Texas economy. So tonight, bars that would like to open are open. Restaurants are able to serve even more people in person, just, of course, as we begin the holiday weekend. We have reports tonight from Dallas and Fort Worth. We will begin with Andrea Lucia in Dallas. Well, those who are out are obviously those who feel safe being out. There are very few wearing masks unless they are working. And just here on the sidewalk, there's not a lot of distance being kept. But inside establishments, business owners say they are following the rules as best they can. In Dallas's Deep Ellum neighborhood, the streets are once again alive with music with people. It feels great. It feels really good. Because Michael Glass, who came out for a drink, said it's not nearly as busy, though, as before. Usually there's a lot more people. His mother is just happy to see things back up and running. I think you get sicker staying inside and what that might do to you here. I was very scared at the beginning of this. Stuff. After shutting down his bar for two months, J.R. Munoz said he opened today to find about a dozen customers ready to walk in. To have that love waiting there the, the minute we open back up, was cool. He's already had to direct some away from the bar to tables where people under new state regulations have to be seated to be served. People aren't used to having rules like that. One. Down the street, the sign at Louis Louis Piano Bar made it clear it's not opening yet, as much as its owner would like it to. Most everybody is dying to get open and get some kind of cash flow going on, you know, because obviously we're broke. But, uh, yeah. Its business, he says, is based on an atmosphere that's hard to create, with the state capping occupancy at 25 percent. Part of the fun is walking in there and having a big group of people and everybody laughing and shouting and having a good time. And we can't do that. By adding to the foot traffic that we are seeing is the fact that restaurants can now allow up to 50 percent of their occupancy. Uh, as long as they're still able to maintain that six feet of distance between the tables. One restaurant out here that I spoke to said it waited to reopen until now. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thanks. Over in Fort Worth, there are efforts to keep people safe while reopening the bars. Our Brooke Katz took some time, uh, took some time to visit in the seventh area. Here's what she saw tonight. It feels a little more like a normal night out, but the signs are right beneath your feet, space six feet apart. Reminders we all still need to take precautions. After weeks of quiet, the music is once again blasting around West 7. Uh, the company I work for, One Entertainment, has a few bars here on 7th Street. Uh, and, and it's a lot of employees that have been out of work, uh, bartenders, busters, our, our support staff. Brandon Martinez is the GM of Playground, the bar one of many dark since around St. Patrick's Day. Well, there's a lot of changes, a lot of differences that I think will be take some time to get used to. Changes meant to keep everyone safe. We have tables measured six feet apart. My door guy will not only have the responsibility of checking IDs up front, but we're going to have hand sanitizer so everyone gets some as they come in the bar. Their arcade games shut down, and at establishments across the area, staff wearing masks and gloves, a regular sight. It's really nice, but also it is, it can be a little scary. Um, just because, you know, opening back up, you really don't know what you're being exposed to. And just people financially, I think it's better for us community to be out here being a part and like living life. I mean, that's what we should do, in my opinion. Martinez says he feels prepared and ready, happy to be back in business. If they say it's time to go. I think we've waited the time that was appropriate. So we'll be back at it again. And Martinez says most of these bars will be open their normal hours. Reporting in Fort Worth, for Katz, CBS 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Next major reopenings are a week from today, by the way. That's when both the Dallas and Fort Worth zoos are going to reopen. They'll have a lot of changes, including tickets that need to be purchased online. On Sunday, May 31st, youth camps can open up. That includes day camps and overnight camps. Youth sports are allowed, and professional sporting events are allowed as well, as long as there are no spectators.